Hi everyone, this is Nita Mathur, Reference Librarian from the West Windsor Branch of the Mercer County Library System, welcoming you back to this week's edition of Literary Destinations. Stepping back in time uh, to a place where a celebrated author once lived can be an inspiring and unforgettable experience. This week we tracked down some of the places where one of England's most famous and loved author, Jane Austen, once walked and wrote the beautiful classical novels that have delighted readers all over the world over two centuries. Let me share some slides with you. Give me one minute. I just need to queue up the slides. Here we go. Jane Austen wrote six novels, two of which were published after she died. A simple search for Jane Austen in the Mercer County Library's catalog brings up over 90,000 entries of books in print and digital formats, as well as audio video materials and articles from peer reviewed journals. Jane Austen was born in the small, village of Steventon in Hampshire, England, where her father was the rector of the Steventon Parish. Jane spent the first 25 years of her life here. The house where they lived in Steventon Rectory and where Jane Austen first started writing unfortunately does not exist today. In its place stands a giant lime tree supposedly planted by Jane's eldest brother. St. Nicholas Church, and it's also called Steventon Church, dating back to the 12th century, where Jane Austen's father was a rector and where she was baptized and worshiped, still stands largely unchanged to this day. In 1801, the Austens moved to Bath, a thriving spa resort. Jane Austen was very unhappy at having to leave behind the simple pleasures of country life in rural Hampshire, where she had grown up. Bath was a fashionable social hub with an abundance of balls, dinners, and concerts. Their house on Fort Sydney Place is where Jane Austen worked on her draft of Northanger Abbey. From her bedroom window, she could see Sydney Garden, with fashionable ladies mingled over afternoon tea. While they were in Bath, her father passed away. And in 1809, Jane's brother offered his widowed mother and sisters a permanent residence at Chawton Cottage, a quiet and tranquil part of Hampshire, which now houses a museum. It was here that Jane Austen spent the last eight years of her life. It is also this time that she worked extensively on her novels, completing the manuscripts of Sense and Sensibility, Brand Pride and Prejudice. She also wrote Emma, Mansfield Park, Northanger Abbey, and Persuasion. Her small 12-sided writing desk was just 18 to 24 inches in diameter and it stands today in the dining room of the museum. It is on this desk that Jane Austen wrote her novels on little bits of paper using a quill pen. She had little idea that her novels would one day be revered and loved over generations of readers. Jane Austen played the piano every morning before preparing breakfast for the family. This pianoforte on display in the drawing room of the museum is similar in style and quality to the one owned by Jane Austen. Her love for music had been encouraged by her father when she was young, and he arranged for her to take lessons from George Shod, the organist at Winchester Cathedral. Upstairs was Jane's bedroom, which she shared with her sister Cassandra. The two sisters were very close and would often spend days walking through the beautiful Hampshire countryside. 
In 1817, Jane Austen passed away at the very young age of 41 after a lengthy illness. She had traveled to Winchester, just a short distance away from her home in Chawdon, with her siblings Cassandra and Henry to be close to her physician. They took residence in this very house, very close to Winchester Cathedral, her final resting place. I do hope you enjoyed this little trip to the places once home to one of the most widely read authors in English literature. Till next time, this is Nita Mathur signing off from the West Windsor Branch Library. Thank you.